so hello again um, this is to show you how to easily add and use a custom CSS file in Drupal 9 and I think also for Drupal 10 whether you're using a custom theme or building a custom theme uh, by yourself from ground up or using any existing theme regardless the the framework or whether may it be commercial or a paid theme or something or something that you have downloaded from the drupal.org the this this method of uh, adding a custom css file would really be useful for for the beginners or those who are not initiated yet fully with drupal so this is the easy fix or easy hack okay like any drupal theme uh, you'd normally get an info that that yaml file and another file uh, called libraries that yaml file these are normally bundled within your theme theme folder your theme uh, these are normally bundled, bundled there, whether a custom built theme or uh, any theme that you have downloaded or purchased. And info would normally contain things like um, the information about your theme and uh, the version, uh, the screenshot of the thumbnail of the theme appearing in the appearance settings and style sheets uh, CSS style sheets and you know system style sheets and uh, declarations of the regions and its label and uh, and its yeah and its label while on the other hand you'd normally find libraries that YAML file which would actually contain the different elements that your theme has uh, needs to call like for example uh, linked uh, Google fonts uh, the actual location of the of CSS and JavaScripts and so on and so forth and a lot more can happen here all right so from our and and libraries also and so from our from our tutorial um, since you have noted that libraries that YAML file, at least from my example, from my theme, contains the the different CSS. I'm sorry, from the YAML file. Okay. I'm looking at. I'm looking for a particular. All right, CSS. All right, from the libraries that YAML file. I have noticed that there is a CSS file that's be, that's being used by my theme, at least the theme that I'm working on, and I've noticed that from from this directory, uh, it contains a lot of uh, this uh, the the theme directory has a sub a subfolder called .css, and normally. Uh, that's where the major style sheets or the major CSS files are found and one of these for example is this one and a lot more so I noticed that corporate theme is uh, more or less the, the, the main style of the main style sheet of this particular theme so I would assume that if I would add a custom theme I'd probably save it here I'd probably save it here and you know and would probably declare it the same way that the main style sheet has been declared so I'd probably just copy that location and save some save uh, save this file the YAML file and probably in info file we do not have to do anything anymore only on the libraries that yaml file and save this file yaml the libraries that yaml file 
and make sure I, ha I have an existing custom CSS file. I, I need to create a custom CSS file and save it on this location. Alright? So, I need to declare that uh, I need to create a custom CSS file. Save it on the CSS folder of the theme alongside other other main style sheets or CSS files of the theme and and the second thing that I need to do under libraries.yaml file which you normally find also in your theme folder I just need to declare another line to put in the custom to declare the custom CSS file for some reason I've noticed that if you have to Put it in here uh, in this line you'd have to put six spaces one two three four five six for this to actually work i don't know why that's it or why that happens all right so assuming i assuming i, I need to upload this to actually demo something so for example on this on this uh testing project that we're doing I have to for example I have to create a custom file a custom CSS you know for this particular element in the menu this menu I need to create a custom class probably put in something here but let's use the same the, the the class that's being used here but it does not have anything on the current existing CSS files so it's like creating your own classes custom classes so if I create a custom class for example this one and I want to you know probably float this over to the left so that this this the menu moves to the left I probably want to declare that in my custom file custom CSS file because that's not happening yet right so and if I would implement that for example here save this file and upload to the server okay I need to do that for a while okay assuming I have already uploaded this custom.css and declared that in my libraries.yaml file I simply have to go back to my website and you know just flash the cache or you can do it or you can do it in drush for more for advanced users drush cache rebuild you know clearing the cache and going back to my front page uh, to my front end okay take note we do not have that main that class yet earlier but after refer uploading the custom file the custom CSS and declaring it and uploading and clearing the cache if you notice if we go back to this class it now has a custom CSS here as you can see okay and this is now getting the custom CSS which we have declared and saved and uploaded from here okay I hope this helps